guys and welcome to another studio vlog uh it's been a while since i recorded i didn't record at all last week and it's now thursday that i'm recording this so this vlog might be a little bit shorter than usual but if you hadn't seen in my last few videos i went to birmingham mcm we decided to treat ourselves and we went to comic con and it was so fun i had such a nice time and such a nice break and now i'm feeling motivated to get back into youtube and stuff like that i haven't really been gone but it feels like i have because i haven't picked you guys up around the studio for like over a week which <laughs> feels like a long time because i feel like i take you guys with me and that i really enjoy it so um i haven't really done much around the studio if you've seen in my last studio vlog i went out and i bought a macbook and i set up patreon so i've been working on patreon things and stuff like that and uh, you can check my patreon out in the comments there's some exclusive videos and content and stuff like that so i did an exclusive patreon studio vlog last week about my washi tape packaging um so yeah this uh vlog i have been working in my ipad on some new designs and some new stickers and i also joined in on sarah faber's 100k challenge uh if you don't know sarah faber i would highly check her out she's one of my favorite illustrators and she's so sweet and so nice i'll leave her youtube and her instagram in the description but she um has just celebrated getting 100,000 followers over on instagram and did a little drawing prompt challenge and i thought this would be a great opportunity to create some new artwork and update some prints in my etsy store so that's what i've been working on and i'll show you in a little bit what i've been working on it's now 10 to 12 and this morning i have been replying to um emails i uploaded my top 10 etsy tips video for skillshare um because it was a kind of sponsorship um and yeah that's basically what i've been doing I, emails take me so long to reply to now so i'm sorry if you send me an email and it takes a few days for me to get back because i've been on holiday this weekend i didn't really get back into the swing of things till yesterday um so yeah that's what i've been up to so i really i'm going to show you the new planner stickers that i've been working on in my ipad i think you'll like them let's go shall we so i've been working on a bunch of stuff i have the small stickers that i would like to make i have these payday ones which i think are really cute so budget and save and then payday so i'm going to do these on separate ones and then do a sheet of them all so that you can get save budget and payday on one sheet and then i'm going to do them individually payday and save on another sheet what else have i done i also did this disney one because you guys know me i love to go to disney world and this was a saving fund for disney but i'm not sure how this will go in terms of copyright i know disney is very very stringent and i don't want to um, do any copyright infringement so i might make these into love hearts um but basically these are for me uh, more than anyone because i save for disney world so i made this as a little doodle for myself i don't know if i'm going to be selling them maybe if i make these into little love hearts and that'll be fine so i did that as a doodle as well i did some little period blobs so period cramps i'm actually on my period now so this is so <laughs> this is so relevant so i did one where he's having little pins uh, he's a bit sad and then one where he's just happy so do you want your period so they're going to be period planner stickers uh what else oh i did some little fast food guys which turned out really really cute i forgot i did these so i've got the smalls ones which are going to go live as well and i've actually sent off for an enamel pin that will be coming very very soon of this guy over here i didn't do the cheeky butt guy i know a lot of people liked him i did this one instead because it was my personal favorite and a lot of people said that it reminded them of goodie hammer and i don't really want it to remind people of that so i did um the enamel pin of this guy because i really like the shape of him he looks like a marshmallow uh, but it's going to be in rose gold because i don't think i can get blue enamel at least not that i know so these are all the stickers i've been working on and then i've also got some art prints as well so i've got this you can do it which is rosie the riveter which i really want to make into an art print and what else have i done and i've got these girls up here which is what i've been doing for sarah faber's challenge so i have this one which i think will make a cute art print 
this one which is cute as well and this is kind of like greys and browns which is really nice uh, I've got this one which is pinks and blacks which I like and then I've got this pin up style one of this girl I was really happy with how this turned out I never used a reference I just kind of drew it from my head and I really liked how she turned out I really like the colours and the freckles I think this is a really cute art print for summer um, so yeah and it's also body positive which is always good and she looks really sexy am I right? So yeah, I would like to make them into art prints as well. Um, postcards, I want to make the s'mores into a postcard. So I want to make this into a postcard, which would be really cute. And I had something else I wanted to make into a postcard, but I can't think what it is now. I'll figure something out. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be working on today. I also have someone coming to fit a blind in my second studio um because i need it for recording and the sun shining through and just as i scheduled the blind guy come in the blinds in here snapped and fell down so now i need to get a quote for in here as well that's so typical literally he came around gave me a quote and then these blinds broke how typical is that but hopefully when he's around he'll be able to give me a quote for them because i think the windows are quite similar sizes but yeah that's what i'm going to basically be doing oh i forgot to show you this was the uh, this was a spicing that I did and she's a shopaholic so I want to make this into a sticker and do a planner sticker of spice because it's been a while since Gingy and Spice have made a little debut. This isn't Gingy, this is his girlfriend Spice so I'd like to make um, him into a sticker pack. Oh there's people walking by and maybe into a postcard as well. I'm not quite sure but she looks really happy. Wee. and this is the goal for today i've actually got a podcast interview happening in uh, an hour and a half so that should be interesting i need to record the studio vlog which is what i'm doing right now make new stickers create the yes etsy listens for the new stickers and i also need to do the patreon podcast today because it's been two weeks and if you're a member of my two dollar tier you get a bi-weekly podcast so i need to do that today and i bought a pop filter for it uh, which is in here look mm. oh my gosh my cupboards are such a mess but I bought this pop filter so it sounds a little bit better so I've also got that to do today a lot to do actually isn't it we better get a move on so let's get into it shall we <laughs>
Okay, so I've just finished doing some test prints just to make sure that the text was okay. So on this one, uh, for the back of the postcards, for this one I added some little flowers and stuff down here but I felt like it was a little bit too fussy and I added the text to the side. But the problem with doing this is that the writable area, like the note, becomes a lot smaller because obviously you're, using, you're losing this and you're losing this. Whereas when I did it the more simple way, um, the text is along the bottom so you're just losing this section but you've got all this section here so there's slightly more writing space also I feel like this is a little over cluttered I know a lot of people probably won't think this but um, I'll probably be using this as a template for all of my postcards so I'd like it to match everything and I think with these floral details at the bottom it won't match everything so I thought I'm not going to do that I really like this one. The text is uh, clearly readable. It's very small, but I don't want it to be overpowering because obviously people will write um, a letter here and this is A6 size. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm happy with how this little stamp turned out as well. He looks really cute. Am I right? It's really cute. So you'd put a stamp here um, to cover it, but I think I might move this down slightly and then the address would go here and then I would just put my logo in this corner. So that's what I'm going to do now and I'm going to send off for my new postcards. How exciting! I love new products! Yay! So yeah, I went on a break as well because the same thing happened to me and me and Dean are literally like, right, we need to go somewhere so we booked Comic Con so we went to Birmingham for the weekend. Um, nice. Not exactly the most exotic place, not exactly skiing in France, but it did the trick. I feel a bit more. Yeah, it was a really good fun. I love Comic Con, so it's like my favourite place to go, so. So quick update, I've just had my dinner as you will have seen and I had my meeting with Tom, Tom Ross, he actually has a YouTube channel and he is the CEO over on, over at Design Cuts. But he kindly reached out to me on Instagram and we set up a chat and then the potential of going on his podcast show. Um, he has a podcast show called The Honest Designer Show and it's really, really good. I haven't actually listened to it, but I've been listen listening to it on my break and it is so good. Like any fellow creatives out there, I think you would really enjoy this podcast. I'll also leave a link to his podcast down below. It's getting later and later and it's half free now. I'm not going to get much more done, I don't think. I think I'm going to send off for my postcards and what I'm going to purchase is the A6 flies and leaflets over on instant print and I am going to use the premium silk setting it says here the A6 flyer printed on premium silk will be similar texture to a postcard and it is with no lamination it's £16 for 100 or £17 for 250 or £22 for 500 so I'm, think, I'm thinking of getting the 500 one and these postcards are going to go in sale on my Etsy store for quite a cheap price because um, they're nice and affordable which is nice and it's just a way of people if they can't afford my art prints and stuff it's a more affordable solution and people can just pop them in the basket and I really think it will turn out really cute I'm excited so I've got four designs in total that I'm going to do so I've made this pancake one which was an illustration that I did on Pancake Tuesday and it just says you're flipping amazing which is really cute and it's like this little chubby pancake and this was really really popular on um, Instagram so I thought I'd make him to a postcard then I've got this small sleep one which will be a postcard and then this shopaholic one uh, which will be a postcard and those are the three that I'm going to do for now and then I think I'm going to do more over time and just build a collection so I can have a collection of postcards in but I think postcards would be really cute a really cute freebie for people so I think I might make an exclusive postcard for people who purchase in my Etsy store so you can only back get the postcard through 
purchasing something my Etsy saw. Okay, so I decided to turn this, which I actually, it was a Patreon exclusive wallpaper and it had the Patreon logo in the center. I've decided to make this into a postcard. So everyone's a part of the Marshmallow fam and you can only get these postcards if you purchase off my Etsy. So I'm gonna make this into a postcard because I really like how cute he is. It'll be interesting to see how these postcards turn out as well. I hope they turn out okay. Well, this looks adorable at the red. Oh yeah. There we go, guys. You are now live on the Coffee Beans podcast. Hello. I'm saying double hello. Double hello on the podcast and double hello on YouTube as well. So you'll get to see this very, very soon. Guys, so I've just finished doing my Patreon podcast, Coffee Beans, for my $2 tier. Um, and I talk about just the doubts and stuff that I've been having this week because I've been having a few issues mentally. And then that's why I went away for the weekend to try and get my mind off things. Uh, just about the business, the financial side. Um more than not the bigger you get the more financial worry you have i suppose uh, so i've just chatted on there on my podcast and now i have to go i'm already running late it's five to six but yeah i'll see you tomorrow when we're finally going to be doing the new sticker stock and emily is actually going to be in working tomorrow so yeah i'll see you very soon all right then i'm gonna get some tea now and have some games with some family friends love you goodbye hello guys good morning and happy friday uh, I've just got into the office and made myself a coffee. I don't think I have time to go for a coffee today because I've got a lot to do. Uh, today I'm going to get to work on those new stickers and get them all made up. And then I also need to post on Patreon because I'm doing my first ever live stream for my $20 tier Marshmallow Senpais. Um, and I'm a bit nervous about it because I don't know what to expect because it's my first ever one. So I need to put an announcement on the time and everything. It's going to be 4pm GMT if you want my marshmallow senpais um, on Sunday, which is Mother's Day. Um, but my mum doesn't mind because I'm taking her out for tea afterwards, so it's all good. I also need to record my Comic Con haul video because I haven't done that yet. I have brought the bag with me with all the goodies in and I can't wait to show you guys because I got like a jumper and a t-shirt and stuff. So it's super exciting. So let's get into the working day. Oh, and I need to edit this vlog. Blinking at quite a lot of do, and my eyes are very, very sore from allergies again. Just when I was saying my allergies were getting better yesterday, I woke up and look at these eyes, especially this one. Can you see? It's practically stuck to my bottom lash. I'm all right. See you soon. All right. Love you, bye. <laughs> video I'm in my second studio and we've got this over there and I forgot to tell you I bought a Rode video mic micro or something to make my videos a little professional and I bought this ring light and I've done a review video on that actually that I need to edit but remember I said the blind guy was coming to put some blinds up well ta-da he's done it and it really works now I'm not getting those harsh um, light because the sunlight comes directly in here uh, so well worth it he gave me a really really good price which was brilliant but I'm so happy with them they're actually they're old-fashioned they're like 90s style blinds but they actually make my office look really cute I don't know they just look a lot neater and yeah so I'm happy about that so now I can record things in the studio without the sun getting in the way and also I've bought a C stand off Amazon so I really want to do over the head shots and I want to do more art videos and I've signed up to an art subscription box because I've been watching like Casey Golden and drawing with waffles and I love the idea of doing an art subscription box unboxing and kind of experiment so I bought some subscription boxes which is really fun and I can't wait to sit down with you guys and I bought a tripod uh, where is it it's around here somewhere 
I don't know where I've put it. Oh, there it is. I bought a tripod thinking that this would work and it didn't. So I've bought a huge C stand. So I'm hoping this will work. So I'm gonna see if I can put this up now. I was gonna do a video on this, but I think I'll just keep it in this vlog and give you my opinions. But yeah, let me know if you wanna see the review for this tripod. It did have an overhead thing, but the tripod legs still went in the way. So I did film an unboxing and a review video, but yeah, it's time to try this. So this is a big C stand and it's from newer and you can get it on Amazon that's where I ordered it and it's really heavy duty can you see it's for like proper professional use it's like really good quality really heavy uh, so it's going to be really good to mount my DSLR on all these are so confusing like <laughs> uh, but anyway yeah so I've got this spare one which I don't know really what to do with uh, but the problem is I bought this adapter uh, so I could mount my tripod uh, on, you know, the tripod head onto it so I can mount my camera onto it. The problem is this is a big fat screw. So I need like an adapter and I bought these thinking this would work and obviously this is not going to work. So, Oh no, I remember now guys, I used the ball head for this tripod like this and I think this just screws on. Yeah, so this is the head of my tripod that I bought and I've done a review for. I haven't put it up on my channel yet. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a review on it. But this is the tripod. Yeah, so if I put this on here, that should work, shouldn't it? Yeah, I am clever, aren't I? Uh, I shouldn't say that yet because I haven't figured it out yet. But I did look on... Why did I buy these then? I'm confused. What did I buy these adapters for? Male to female, I don't know. I watched a YouTube video on how to set this up. Um, and I bought the stuff from the YouTube video, but I had to go on the UK Amazon and try and find, I keep banging in these boxes, and try and find an alternative. So let's see if this helps. Yay, it works. How fun is that? So I bought this C stand from Amazon and I already had my tripod head um, here but you can use different adapters because I thought that the other adapter was a female head but it's a male head all the other way around or whatever. Uh, and then I bought this Manfrotto thingy my bob. And the good thing about this is, it'll be no camera shake. I'm sorry, because there's loads of lights behind, so you can't really see, but this is the screen. Can you see? So it's that juicy overhead shot. There we go. Can you see? And if I bang the table, no camera shake on here, because it's not mounted to the table. How professional do I feel right now? Oh my goodness, look how professional I am. Oh yeah, look at me. This is like my YouTube filming room now. Remember when it was my full studio? So expect lots of new art videos from me. I hope you really enjoy them. So this is the art subscription box I was on about, scroller box. So I can't wait to try it out. Woohoo, woohoo. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, are you excited to see this? Let me know in the comments what you think to these arty videos. I really hope you want to see them because I bought all this now. So yeah, I'm going to film my video now. See you in a bit. Wow, guys, look at all this stuff that I got from the convention. I have just finished filming it all. Oh, so much stuff. Definitely keep an eye out on Sunday for the haul video, which is when I'll be putting this up. 
Oh, I've got so much stuff everywhere now. I am so happy with this C stand. It's making me so, so happy. Um, it worked perfectly and it's lovely and solid. I don't need to weight it because uh, it's so heavy duty. I don't need to hang a sandbag on the end, which I thought I might do. If you got a cheaper C stand and you bought these for quite cheap, you can do it a lot cheaper than I have. You can get a cheap C stand off Amazon and then you can buy these things. I'm not sure what the called and then you just need an adapter like this to put your tripod on so definitely go check that out on Amazon if you want to try it but I'm really happy with this because it's heavy duty and it should last me a very very long time I'm hoping but yeah just finished the haul video so I'm excited to show you it I really hope you enjoy the haul video I, I had so much fun filming it I'm getting really really happy with the way my YouTube is going even though my views are dropping it's kind of slowing down from when I had that big boom when I first did my studio vlogs I'm just really happy with what I'm doing and the work I'm doing on YouTube at the minute and I'm so excited now that I finally got that overhead rig that I really really wanted to get into doing some juicy juicy art videos uh, I'm not like a an amazing eye so anything fantastic but I'm really excited to do that with you guys right so now I need to take you through to the other room because I still need to edit the studio vlog what time is it it's quarter to two. Oh my gosh I've been filming for ages uh, so it's quarter to two I still need to make the new stickers but I'm gonna get um, some samples done and yeah I think I'm gonna have to end the vlog here guys because I don't think I have enough time to pick you up and start filming. The new stickers and the washi tapes will be launched this Sunday at 2pm GMT so definitely if you wanted to grab the gingy and pudding washing tapes and the s'mores planner stickers and all those little planner stickers ideas that I had uh, coming definitely check out the launch on Sunday and the new art prints and stuff that are coming out uh, keep an eye on that so I'm gonna get to work on that the new small stickers look super cute as well so yay I'm really excited I'll see you very very soon guys thank you so so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this vlog I really enjoyed filming it and I will see you very very soon all right then I love you thanks for watching love you bye, -bye.